In this video, you will learn about introduction of direct and indirect speech and also about pronouns. So let's start. First of all, what is direct narration and indirect narration? You can say direct speech and narration also. So what is direct narration means? Your daily conversation includes direct speech and indirect speech. Sometimes you talk in direct narration and sometimes you convey your message in indirect way. So what does it mean? Direct narration means the narration or speech in which person repeat someone's words as it is as it is said is called direct speech. For example, he said, I am reading. Did you see? You convey your message as it is, as it is said by the third person. This is called direct speech. Now move on to indirect narration. The narration or speech in which person does not repeat someone's words as it is, as it is said. Instead, he speak in his own words or you can say you add some spices in it. So this is called indirect narration. For example, he said that he was reading. Did you see? I have changed some words in indirect narration. He said that he was reading. Here is another example. They said to me, did you go to school? But in indirect speech, we say they asked me if I had gone to school. So here is the point to ponder. It must remember for better understanding, you must have to know about pronouns. So we firstly understand the pronouns because it is really important for direct and indirect speech. Without pronouns, you can't do anything. You can't do changes in the indirect speech. So here we go. What are pronouns? The words that are used instead of a noun is called pronoun. For example, he, she, it, I, we, they, you, etc. These are called pronouns and because of it, we change direct narration into indirect narration. So you must remember the pronouns. So what are the types of pronouns? So what are the types of pronouns? Types of pronouns are objective pronouns, subjective pronouns, possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns and reflexive pronouns. Did you see here is the first person, second person, third person. These are the pronouns and how we change into another pronouns. Did you see the reflexive pronouns also? It is myself, yourself, himself, herself. When we add self in the pronouns, so we call them reflexive pronouns. These are really important. So you must remember this. In the next video, you will learn about reporting speech and reported speech. So stay tuned. Thank you.